Hello guys and welcome back to Technopool. Today we have brought you interesting updates. According to the latest reports from Germany, Tesla is expected to receive final approval for Tesla Giga Berlin in November. Tesla has officially closed registration for its GigaFest County Fair event and despite all the evidence against that and pure logic, some people expected to see a car produced there. According to Jabberwock Research, they won't be, that just because the factory is not ready yet. Some people also still believe that Tesla will make its cars based on the 4680 cells without these batteries. Tesla delivered a record-breaking 241,300 electric vehicles in the third quarter, blowing past expectations as other U.S. automakers experienced a drop in sales as the result of a global chip shortage. Tesla Model Y leads Norway with almost 80% share of EV sales. While in China the company has now updated the range estimates for two variants of the electric SUV. Also in China, the American company found itself up against an onslaught of issues earlier this year. It all started when a woman hopped up on top of a Model 3 in the middle of the Shanghai Auto Show. Finally, it appears that the era of white Teslas is about to end. A recent Elon Musk tweet suggested that it may be time to update Tesla's standard vehicle paint option from its current pearl white multi-coat to something new. So don't go anywhere and keep watching the video for all the details. Before we start, if you like this video, please don't forget to give the like, subscribe to Technopool, and click the bell button to receive notifications. When Tesla said it would make a Giga Fest at Giga Grunhade, some expected to see a vehicle produced there. Others still believe Tesla will make its cars based on the 4680 cells by the end of this year, but the retired engineer wrote about signs that there's still a lot to do in Tesla's German factory on August 13 for Seeking Alpha. On September 25, he made a Twitter thread summing up all the elements that show the party on October 9 will be a PR effort to please the local population and press German authorities to grant Tesla the permits that will allow the factory to start rolling. With no 4680 cells, there's no reason for the rush. Tesla conceived the German model Y to be created around three mega castings, one for the front structure, one for the rear, and a structural battery pack in the middle. The Cybertruck and the Roadster have a similar design. According to Jabberwock Research, work is still in the early stages for the hazardous material warehouse, fire suppression system, and fire station. Only the tanks for the wastewater treatment station are ready. The central utilities building is yet only in the plans, and it takes care of the compressed air for the assembly tool and of the factory heating. The engineer said that they have to be ready before Tesla received final authorization. The company does not even have a permanent building permit. It is carrying out work with temporary licenses. The visitors that will attend the Giga Fest may see a complete paint shop. However, it may only work with temporary systems, such as diesel generators. Of the six Giga presses Tesla bought from the Italian Hydra Group, only two are installed. According to Jabberwock Research, Tesla still has at least six months of hard work ahead to get everything going. That means it could be ready to start producing vehicles only by April 2022 the same deadline the CEO of the Musk gave for the 4680 cell start of production in the best-case scenario. Tesla delivered a better-than-expected 241,300 cars worldwide in the third quarter, a record for the electric car maker led by Chief Executive Officer Elon Musk. Quarterly shipments are one of Tesla's most followed metrics. They are also seen as a barometer of consumer demand for electric vehicles as they move away from the internal combustion engine. We would like to thank our customers for their patience as we work through the global supply chain and logistics challenges," Tesla said in a statement Saturday. The overwhelming number of cars delivered was for Model 3 and Y deliveries. The results beat an average shipment estimate of 223,677 from 12 analysts surveyed by Bloomer, and also beat the average forecast of 221,952 that Tesla sent to investors. The latest results were above the company's previous record of 201,250 vehicles in the second quarter. With the chip shortage a major overhang on the auto space and logistical issues, globally these delivery numbers were eye-popping and speaks to an EV demand trajectory that looks quite robust for Tesla heading into 4Q in 2022, said analyst Dan Ives of Wedbush Securities in a note to clients Saturday. The company does not break down sales by geographic region but the United States and China are its largest markets. Tesla currently manufactures the SX3 and Y models at its Fremont, California facility and the 3 and Y models at its Shanghai facility. More than 96% of sales this quarter were of the Model 3 and Y, 
New plants are nearing completion in Austin, Texas and Berlin. Tesla's dateline for the production and delivery release said Austin, and Tesla will hold its annual shareholders meeting from the Austin facility on Thursday. Martin Veitch, Tesla's director of investor relations, did not respond when asked if Tesla had moved its headquarters to Austin. In September, Musk sent an email to employees urging everyone to go super hardcore to ensure a decent Q3 delivery number. Demand for Tesla mid-sized models helped push up electric car sales in Norway to nearly 80% of total car sales last month, data showed on Friday. The country is a world leader in the shift to electric vehicles and aims to be the first to stop selling gasoline and diesel engines by 2025. 4,444 battery electric vehicles accounted for 77.5% of all new vehicles in September, the company said. Norwegian Roads Association, up from 61.5% a year ago. Tesla Model Y, a compact sports utility vehicle, was the best-selling vehicle with 19.8% of the passenger car market, followed by the company's Model 3 sedan with 12.3%. Skoda's Enyaq came in a distant third with 4.4%. First introduced by Tesla in California in March 2019, the Model Y was only made available to European customers recently. By exempting all electric vehicles from taxes that rely on fossil fuels, oil-producing Norway has become a pioneer in ending the use of internal combustion engines, and in 2020, electric vehicles surpassed all other cars for the first time. Norway's zero-tax policy could change if the center-left winners of last month's national elections resume their plans to tax the most expensive models. The Tesla Model Y is a popular choice among electric vehicle buyers in China. To make them even more attractive to potential buyers, Tesla has now updated the range estimates for two variants of the Model Y. According to the design studio, the long-range Model Y can now travel 640 kilometers or 397 miles on a full charge, up from the previous 594 kilometers or 369 miles while the performance model Y also got a boost changing from 540 kilometers or 335 miles to 566 kilometers or 351 miles. Both range estimates are based on the NEDC rating schedule, which is more generous than the North American EPA ratings. There were no price changes associated with the increased range estimates, although the NEDC range estimates do not reflect what drivers can achieve in actual driving conditions. The automaker has yet to provide an explanation for the range increase that could be due to a change in battery size or chemistry, or even new engines. Tesla faced a spate of troubles in China earlier this year. It all started when a woman got into a Model 3 in the middle of the Shanghai Auto Show. The situation turned chaotic when others sided with her. The media interfered and people made fake videos of Tesla cars with braking problems. That damaged Tesla's reputation in the country. The whole thing turned out to be a fabrication, according to reports, and the mainstream media apologized for making false and unfounded claims. The government also participated with recommendations on how Tesla should deal with customer service. While Tesla doesn't have a press department in the US, and it rarely sticks up for itself when people disparage and defame the brand, things are quite different in China. Also in China, but this time in a different case. A Tesla Model S driver sued the automaker for fraud after alleging that Tesla misrepresented the car's condition at the time of purchase. Tesla owner Han Kao won the case in court. According to information from Bloomberg, a court in Beijing found Tesla guilty of selling a used Model S that had undergone extensive repairs due to an accident, although Tesla did not appear to disclose the information. The automaker tried to argue that just because the car was welded does not mean that it had any structural damage. Han Keo purchased the used Model S for $58,700 using Tesla's official used car platform in China. According to reports, Tesla has to refund Keo for the total cost of the car. In addition, the automaker has to pay damages equal to three times the purchase price of the car when it is sold to Keo. The total damage exceeds 1.5 million yuan, $233,000. This is the largest cash payment Tesla has made in China to date. It is important to note that all of this was established in the original judgment. However, Tesla appealed and has now lost again. Tesla is in the midst of other lawsuits in China, including those filed against the company for defamation, as well as several counterclaims seeking the return of Tesla for defamation. 
One of the lawsuits alleges that the situation is tarnishing Tesla's image as Hahn continues to post negative information about the company on social media. Finally, CEO Elon Musk seemed to be hinting that a popular color might be making a comeback. The most recent Musk's testimonial came in response to FSD beta tester 28 delay Slater, who openly noted that the streets are now saturated with white Model 3 and Model Ys. The owner of the Model 3 and Model X also asked the CEO if the now discontinued silver lacquer option could be offered again. Musk admitted that the FSD beta tester scored well. Good point, we'll discuss with the team. Floki picked tomorrow, Musk wrote, promising that he would also be sharing a new photo of his new dog, a Shiba named Floki. Electric vehicle buyers would appreciate a new standard paint color and the possible return of a silver paint option. Tesla has kept pearl white multi coat as a free standard paint option since June 2019 and has since increased vehicle production and deliveries worldwide. In the middle of the Model 3 and Model Y ramp, it was no surprise that many white vehicles were ordered before introducing pearl white multi coat paint as standard on its vehicles. The company had used solid black paint as a free paint option. At that time, many Model 3, Model S, and Model X were ordered with solid black paint. While the dark color looks great, solid black has also been prone to scratches and blemishes. Black vehicles also tended to get dirty quite easily. Pearl white multi-coat paint did not have these problems, at least not to the same extent. With the fourth quarter now starting, it would be of great benefit to Tesla if it could make its vehicles more attractive to potential buyers. Offering a new free paint option could potentially help in this regard. We hope you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave your comment in the section below. And please don't forget to like and subscribe, and be sure to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. There are many more future-focused tech videos coming soon, so until then stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next video.